Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live here on our Patreon channel. And Barack Obama, if you guys recall, I uh, did a video just recently about Barack Obama and the possibility of him becoming acting president of the United States. Now, of course, that was based on a dream that I had. And, uh, of course, a friend of mine also uh, in D.C. had a very similar dream the exact same day. And it really set off a storm of people making comments about Barack Obama being the Antichrist, things like that. In fact, let me just see if I can find that video real quick. Here we go right here. 35,000 views, at least that's what it's showing there on our channel, Israeli News Live. Uh, this one right here, could Barack Obama uh, become acting president of the United States? And... And of course, if we've got 35,000 views, we have learned in essence about five times that is about how many people have really seen this video. Well, today there was discussion in uh, Washington about bringing Obama back in. Now, there wasn't a discussion of bringing him back in as president, but somehow to help Biden out because Biden, as they say, is doing a terrible job of the situation in Ukraine. And they feel like, and it's not the first time this has come up, that that Biden needs Obama's help. And uh, then the subject came up, though, about him becoming president of the United States. So I asked the question, what would it take in order for him really to become president, or in the case that I saw in the dream, acting president of the United States? And that information come from, uh, or, or at least what they were saying, is that uh, the situation of a collapsed economy would cause the United States to have to declare martial law because, of course, a collapsed economy would have far greater impact on social unrest, things of that nature there. Not to mention we're right here at the midterm elections, right? And uh, Barack Obama's been out there on the campaign trail hitting up for a lot of other Democrats trying to make sure they get in office, including Stacey Abrams, uh, uh, of which we, we spoke about her a little bit more today as well. But in the case of Barack Hussein Obama there, the, the situation was brought up is that the current situation that we're facing here in the United States is a major diesel fuel crisis. Uh, let me just see if we can pull something up on that. I didn't, I didn't, um, I'm kind of, so many things that are going on. Look, I spelled diesel fuel wrong already here. So, um, but there is a lot of uh, already, let me get the right spelling in there. So diesel fuel crisis, the U.S. diesel crisis is here and is spreading along the East Coast. This was on October the 26th. That came out two days ago. What happens if the U.S. runs out of diesel fuel? Well, from what I've been told right now, this is a subject that was coming up also today uh, at the um, in Washington there, is that the collapse of the diesel fuel in this country would send the trains stopping, the truckers stopping, and I was told we only have three weeks of diesel fuel reserves left. Uh, in fact, I was even told that Biden goes out publicly and really announces the reason why we have this diesel fuel shortages is because we're sending everything to Europe. Well, that tells you that we are funding the war in Europe and they need diesel fuel to be able to run all of the U.S. military equipment. It's got to be in that war. So there's where all of our diesel fuel is going. But as a result, diesel fuel, when we do run out, it will cause a collapse of the economic system in this country. I was told it wouldn't take long before everything economically would crash here, including the dollar, etc., and that would thus set in motion bringing about martial law. And because Biden is not doing a very good job as president, and there are those that are in power that are discussing bringing Obama back in, they could do pretty much anything they want under the case of martial law. And therefore, the discussion has been in Washington is to bring Obama back in and let him act as president during the situation of martial law in this country. Now, what people may not be aware of, and I'll look and see just out of curiosity. I don't even know. I haven't even looked to see this here. Obama actually recently met with the Saudis. Uh, and let's just see. Let's see. Obama and Obama to become Saudi Arabia's defender. Well, that was back in 2016. Uh, let me just put the word meets 
And what he did is he went there to try to get the Saudis to increase production of diesel or oil in order for us to make more diesel fuel here back at home. And the Saudis actually agreed to do so. But just recently, when we started running into this shortage there, the meeting that Obama had with the Saudis was brought up. And of course, the Saudis denied ever meeting Obama, or not a meeting him, but or agreeing to actually increase oil production. And what they did do, though, is they said, no, we will not increase oil production for the sake of the United States at this time. So Obama and the deal that he allegedly uh, uh, secured with the Saudis has now collapsed. So therefore, we're back at stage one again. Will we get the diesel we need? Now, I cannot help but think that this is all playing right into the cards, the very thing that they wanted in the first place, and that is uh, to make sure that we go into a collapsed nation economically. Everything you could imagine. Diesel fuel runs out. The train people were already talking about doing a strike. It's already believed that China is involved with that strike that would actually take place uh, if, if it does happen. But if they run out of fuel, it wouldn't matter anyway. There won't be any trains moving, won't be any trucks moving. And of course, right at the holiday season, would cause a total collapse of the economy and thus paving the way for Barack Hussein Obama to be placed into power one way or the other by those that are in power behind the scenes. In other words, the deep state could take and make the moves necessary to put him back into place. Now, how would that really play in? Well, if you ask me, they want to bring Obama in, they want to bring the war on, they want to get a total calamity of everything, and then guess who will be the saving grace at the end of the day? Well, you got that right, Netanyahu. Um, excuse me, let me get it spelled right as again, Netan, Netanyahu. And, uh, of course, Trump would actually come back on the scene. Now, I can't help but wonder, even though Netanyahu just got elected as prime minister uh, back in Israel once again, though, if Donald Trump would make it or not. But DeSantis, he's also a very likely candidate. And after all, DeSantis did sign uh, the Florida legislation in Israel, which would pave the way for Noahide laws, a one world order, a new world order. And of course, Netanyahu and Trump coming on the scene would give them their Mashiach ben Joseph and Mashiach ben David, exactly what the Orthodox community is looking for. And how then, too, will Netanyahu side in the war with Ukraine? Interesting, isn't it? I find it disturbing because many Christians will end up falling into the trap of supporting a very demonic campaign. Well, after all, we did put Trump and Netanyahu together. Whoop, lost that spot there. Let's see if we can get it back. Um, so what do we have? Netanyahu, Trump said, I don't want peace in a, in oh goodness, this is October 15th. Um, <laughs> Trump accused Netanyahu of disloyalty after congratulating Biden. Uh, Trump does get his feelings hurt from time to time there, but uh, and uh, and so, but I'm sure they will patch things up, like what we have right here. Nothing. I appeal to Trump's love of golf and use New York City map to turn the president against Palestinians. New memoir says. Uh, well, I don't know about all that, but the thing is, if these two men come back into power, so many people. One already just now has made it back into power. If Trump makes it in 2024, right after all the wars and craziness is over, the country has totally collapsed, the support of the evangelical community, I think, would be overwhelming. And we would truly see a new world order and an antichrist being placed into power. And if Obama, of course, comes in as acting president, everybody will be blindsided by Obama, thinking that he is the antichrist, when in fact... We're only being duped. And that's why people would accept Trump and Netanyahu as the saviors of the world. Think about it. Something worth thinking about for sure. I'm Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening.